So let's try um, another conversion problem, but this time we'll be converting uh, units of time. So it'll be a fun problem. These are units that you should probably inherently know just from looking at the clock and keeping appointments and doing all that type of stuff. But anyways, um, it says uh, if you're 19 years old, um, how many seconds have you lived and how many months have you lived? So uh, let's start with the seconds part. So it says it gives you 19 years. So remember, you know some conversion factors from years or some time conversion factors. So you want to go from years to seconds. So you know um, that there are 60 seconds in one minute, right? So uh, you know some other ones, right? So you can go from a minute to an hour, right? So you know that there are 60 minutes and one hour. You also know days. Yeah, that's right, days. So um, how many? So 24, right? 24 hours in one day. And um, unless it's a leap year, which we won't count, you uh, know how to go from days to years, right? So there are 365 days in one year. And if you didn't know these, these are ones you should obviously keep to memory from now on. So anyways, these won't be given to you on the test. Anyway, so uh, let's do this one now. So remember, you just cancel. So you want to cancel years out. So how do I get that? You got the conversion factor. So years, 365 days. But days isn't what you want. You want seconds. But you can't get there yet. So you can cancel out days somehow by doing it with hours, right? So one day is 24 hours. That cancels your days out, not seconds yet. We're going to run into the conversion factor. So um, 24 hours, so one hour, 60 minutes, cancel, cancel. Well, it's a good thing. It's, I don't need those ones anymore. And then cancel minutes, one minute. 60 seconds. So cancel, cancel, and there we are. We're at seconds. So that's how many seconds you put. So um, it gives it to us in two sig figs. So let's just keep it at two sig figs and we'll do it in scientific notation. We'll write down what the calculator says though. First, so 19 times 365 times 24, times 60, times 60. So my calculator reads 5, 9, 9, 1, 8, 4, 0, 0, 0 seconds. That's a lot of seconds. But that's not the right answer because you got to do it to two sigfigs. So and decimal points there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And okay. so we go five point. Well, now we got to round up, right? So six point oh times ten to the eighth seconds. That's a lot of seconds that you lived if you were 19 years old. So ticking away, the time is ticking away, right? Um, how many months have you lived? Well, we can do conversion factors. So years to months, well, we know that one, right? So in one year, there are 12 months. So that one's actually easier. So let's just do it over here. Time, 19 years. Year, 12 months, cancel, cancel, 19 times 12, 228 months, 
And um, since we're doing it to two sig figs, 2.3 times 10 to the 1, 2, right? So, approximately 230 months. So, here, let's box our answers just to emphasize that. That's a good way to show me that that's actually, <coughs> excuse me, the answer that you wanted to present to me. Okay, cool.